Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm not only going to be getting soaking wet and cold right up in the Pennines out on my bike, but I'm also going to be showing you this. This is the Through Night C2 storage battery, 3,400 milliamp hours. Reasonably convenient size. If you notice, it's just about the same size as an 18650 battery and you'll see why in a second. It's got a USB outlet there, that charges small appliances. It's got a micro USB to charge this thing up and it's also got an on off button as well. While most battery packs are sealed units and are only useful for charging and discharging, this actually has a battery inside it that can be removed and if I thought on, oh, I would have left the through night one in. I swapped the through night one. And I'm charging just a, a cheap 18650 battery up. I should have checked before I came out, but this does come with a proper through night 18650 battery, not this generic blue one. I suppose this one's pretty good for you to see, it stands out well on film. The beauty of this fella is that it isn't just the storage unit, it does have the flexibility of being able to charge this battery. And take it out, swap it for another battery and charge that other battery. And that's super useful for anything that takes these high capacity 18650 batteries. I can use my through night TH10, which I rate very, very highly, until it dies, and then simply swap the battery for this one. Hey, there you go. There's the proper through night one. That is what comes with this C2. So I'll put that back together with the through night one. In there. And imagine that one was dead. We'll replace it with the charged up battery. And we're good to go. So this is a really convenient size, high capacity. I think it charges my phone least one and a half times. Yeah, I've charged it at least one and a half times and then I broke it off. And I don't know how much was still left in here. It might charge it a couple of times. Mine's a Samsung S5 or something. It's got a reasonably big battery in it. Quite high drain. And really all it comes with is the C2 with the battery. A little mesh bag to put it in. Really that's just to keep the muck off it. And it also comes with a short USB lead as well, with an ordinary connection on one side and a micro USB on the other for charging and discharging. Now I charge this in the house and I take it out with me when I'm on my bike. And I'll show you the setup that I've got. We put the little C2 in there. Connect the USB. Turn it on and the screen's just lit up there. And we're charging. You can't really see through there very well, but uh, hopefully you can see the screen is on. And there's a light there that flashes, just to tell us that we're actually discharging this battery into this one. There you go, that just sits in there. And our phone will not run out of battery. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what a total numpty. He's a 43 year old man. What is he doing with Pokemon on his phone? Well. My son has Pokemon on his phone, so I put it on mine, and when I'm out on my bike, I go out and I, I leave it switched on, and I hatch all the eggs for him, because I can quickly rack up miles on the bike. Pokemon is known to absolutely devour phone batteries. And when I've got that C2 connected, I can have the screen on, full brightness, fanning around playing Pokemon, and not only does the phone power not drop, it actually increases, it actually charges up which is a hell of an achievement from a little battery pack. When I first connected it, I was just expecting it possibly to hold at a certain power when I was using that Hydrian Pokemon Go game. But to have it charging is a real bonus because I can mess about on there for hours and hours and hours and the phone just stays topped up at 100%. So there you go, that's a really nice thing to have in a bug out bag, survival kit, camping kit, in your backpack, in your car, if your phone dies. Absolutely excellent. And it's not very expensive either. 
considering how expensive just the battery is, to get the rest of it, um, it doesn't add much more on. It's pretty cheap. I would definitely recommend it. I'm very impressed. I've actually just noticed that the battery in my camera is just about dead. So I've connected this fella up to it. And I think I'll leave that connected in my backpack to get charged up for when I film my next video.